Stem cells are responsible for, uh, they are the early cells that allow, that the remainder of our cells originate from. And there's, they all can trace their lineage back to basically a single cell. The ability for these cells to change themselves depends on uh, the environment that they're placed into. So that a stem cell that's placed, for instance, in the liver may behave differently and change itself differently based on the interactions it has with the surrounding liver cells, whereas a stem cell that's placed into a leg that has a poor blood flow because of that environment and the surrounding cells, for instance, that are also uh, present in this uh, environment with low oxygen will behave very differently. So the, the stem cells are able to take and look at the environment that they're placed into and uh, interact with that and that's what f will drive the changes of the stem cell to behave as they, as they do. The patients who come in to the office whose wounds have healed following the stem cell therapy are, it's hard to describe how happy they are. Uh, they're, because not only usually have their wounds healed, but the chronic pain that they have has uh, frequently improved to the point that they no, no longer need to take any pain medicine. Because just imagine the average patient with uh, critical limb ischemia has to either s sleep with their leg hanging down in order to improve the blood flow, and that means either sleeping in a chair, which many of the patients will do, or they sleep with their leg hanging off the uh, side of the bed, or they can't sleep at all no matter how much pain medicine we give them. There are opportunities, especially as vascular surgeons, in order to investigate this further. You know, example, our, uh, we inject the stem cells into the patient's leg, and if they go on to need an amputation, we have the opportunity to then look at the uh, lower leg where the injections were performed in order to see what's happening to these stem cells. But to do that, it's a little uh, trickier in that we have to be able to label the stem cells so we can find them. And, but those are the opportunities, I think, that uh, we need, or those are the areas that we need to pursue in order to uh, better define you know, how uh, stem cell therapy works and how we should deliver it. And it also has to find its place in other competing, potentially competing therapies that are, that are developing, such as gene therapy.